Welcome back. Now it's time to start a discussion about getters and setters. Getters are used to get the value of an attribute and setters are used to set the value of an attribute. And I'm going to explain to you why you need getters and setters. And first I'm going to create a class person. I'm going to have a define init and I'm going to define here a parameter name and I'll type here self dot and now I'm going to name this self dot underscore name equals to name. I will go down here and I'll type dev name. So we're going to create first the getter and the getter is going to return the value of, of the attribute name. So I'm going to type here return self dot underscore name. And we need to annotate this to add property. This is called the decorator and basically saying that this is going to return a value. Next, we need to define the setter and the setter is going to be called when you set a value to the name uh, attribute. So I'm going to type here define, also name, it's going to take a value and I'll type here if not is instance and I'm going to type value str. So if the value that is passed here as, a, as an argument is not a string, then I'm going to type raise value error and it's going to say name must be a string. And let's annotate this. I'm going to put at name dot setter. So this is a setter decorator. And uh, if this condition doesn't pass, so it's an instance of string, we're gonna type self dot name equals to value. I'm gonna assign the value to our attribute name. Now I'll go down here. I'll create a class called person equals person. And I will pass the value Alex. Okay. Next, I'm going to go down here, I'll type person dot, let's add a print, print person dot name. Let's run this to see what you get. You get Alex. And person dot name, it's calling the getter that is defined here. So it's not calling the value directly. So if I delete this, uh, this getter. Now I can't call person that name. If you hover over its underline and it says create property. This is because previously it was calling the getter, the value, the, the getter which was returning the value of the name. If you want to get the name, you can get it directly access, accessing the attribute, but this violates encapsulation. And uh, encapsulation means to protect your uh, variables from being accessed from outside because sometimes you have uh, let's say a score for a game and you don't want that score to be changed and uh, to protect your uh, variables to protect your attributes use setters and getters to access the values never access the values directly like I have it here so if I run this it says name name is not defined let me let me delete also this to get the correct error. So if I run this, you get Alex. So it's working because it's using the it's using the value of the attribute directly. So it's person dot underscore name is the attribute that is defined here. But I don't want that. I want to get it only through the getter, and I want to set a value only through the setter. And to do that, and, and if you don't do that, look what happens. Let's say that here instead of Alex, I pass twenty two. Look what happens now. If I run this. I get 22 and I want to only have a string. I want to only have uh, a name, a sequence of characters pass here. And for that we need to put back the getter and setter. So let's press Ctrl D a few times. Now let's put that back. Now here we have person.name. So the, again this and as, as you can see it's highlighted. So if I put my click here. This is highlighted here, as you can see, by this uh, transparent border. 
meaning that hey i am using the getter to get the value of self dot underscore name now let's see how the setter works because we talked about the getter let's look at the setter so the setter is used usually to assign a value to your attribute and you it's as i said it's important to protect your attributes from being accessed from outside because in this way you only interact with the uh, attributes of your class only through the through setter and setter and getters in this case uh, let's say that i want to pass 22 look what happens if i run this we get 22 so why you don't get why the, the the setter wasn't called so why this setter which is checking to see a value so if 22 is a string uh, didn't throw this name must be a string this is because when in our constructor we don't call the setter we assign directly the value of the uh, parameter of the variable we assign it directly to the attribute of the class to call the setter instead of put of putting here self dot underscore name we put self dot name and now if i go with the with the cursor down as you can see this is highlighted by this transparent border and now the setter is called so this value name is going to be passed here as a value is going to check it's gonna go through this check it's gonna check to see if the if uh, the value is a string and if it's not a string it will erase this value must be a string if it is a string this will return false and it will execute this part it will go down here and it will assign to the attribute self that underscore name it will assign the value so now if i run this look what happens we get value error name must be a string so the setter was called and it did our uh, our validation our checking so this is why you need setters and getters you need to protect your attributes you need to get your uh, the value of your attributes only through getters and setters because as i said you have may have a game and we have to, the score and you don't want to uh, have that score uh, being changed from outside all right so this is how you can use setters and getters and i'm going to see you in the next video